Virgo, Swan's plan for you is yes, sir. Uh, now listen, someone could be a drag bringing themselves towards you a certain type of way. And someone got to, when they come to you, they got to come to you correct. Or that's you. When you go somewhere, you got to come correct. You got, or you, it's like you in a certain position where you got to uh, present yourself a certain type of way. You feel me? You know, whatever we talking about. Or that's somebody outside of you. It's like a, a sudden change in attitude type shit when they when someone expresses themselves towards you or when it's just you expressing yourself in a certain environment. There you go. I like that. See, that's better than the last one. First card out is the nine of cups upright. See, you could be in a certain place, type place of feeling or a certain you have a certain you're in a certain stance regarding the situation relationship or friendship or you just have a certain perspective or you've reached a certain emotional point and now it now you in this space of feeling like this about that him her there them whatever or something you were doing it's like you you're confident in your emotional expression your idea whatever it is so now it's like when people come to you they see you in this certain type of fixed position about something or somewhere, and, and people. So when people come to you to talk to you about that, they, they come to you, they make sure they approach you properly. It's yes, sir, not yes, ma'am. You feel me? So it's it's regarding something you're showing. It could just be at work in this life. You shit. That's a whole lot. We ain't gonna talk about it. But look, 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 look. Love is in reverse. Now listen there, Virgo. We so it came out with a stack on. So we ain't gonna talk about it. It was the only one I was flipping looking at me though. See, now we're not gonna talk about this, but the justice upright. See, you could be experiencing, or it's like now you're in your justice in regards to how you feel about something, and you're standing for how you feel about something. And motherfuckers is gonna stand with you, or they gonna it's, it's either they gonna accept how you feel about this, they gonna see how you feel about this, or they gonna get 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 with it and get gone. Who I said that for? I feel like it's cancer. You might be dealing with a cancer. Don't have to be. Or you could be dealing with a uh, Sagittarius. Put your foot in the shoe that fits you, though. Or you, it's like you, you move to a new space regarding your emotions or how you feel about something. Now you want, you, you ready to stand for, you ready to die about this feeling you got. You feel me? Whether that's just about when it comes to your self-love, self-care, whatever you got busting going on with self. Or it's just like you're yeah, like a relationship type shit. Let's say you're dealing with somebody. Oh, your all your friends got an opinion or an emotional idea about your significant other, whether you female, male, whatever we talking about. You feel me? Motherfuckers are throwing their two cents in. But you know how you feel about it. And because of the demeanor you're carrying in that space when that emotion or that topic is brought up, whatever we talking about, it's like people know, okay, let me not fuck with Sag Sag I, was, I said Sagittarius, but let me not fuck with Virgo like that no more, you feel me? Just just because they see how you stand about some shit, you feel me? Whatever we talking about, you know better than I know. It's only the first card, only the first one. Only the first one. You know better than I know how the shit goes. Oh, so we got a whole bunch of flip outs and flip backs though. And they sh what's with the sideways energy? It, it's like there's some uncertainty though. That's why it's, that's why it's probably the nine of cups. It's like you you may be defending something. You know you know how you feel about some shit. People could the when the way you talk about this or the way you emotionally express or invest yourself in a certain type of habit, hobby, or routine, it's like yeah, that shit got you in a certain space, and it's a good one. But at the same time, it's a, it's it's like you back and forth from leaving something or staying somewhere. You feel me? You know if that's for you or not, Virgo. You you back and forth though. 
Should you walk away from this idea to further invest in this idea that you know you got feelings for, that you know you got feelings about this habit, you know you want to participate in that passion, you know you want to go down that road, but in order to go down that road, you got to stop going down that road. You got to stop investing in that hobby so that, so and let that hobby fill that slot, so to speak. You got to stop going to that restaurant and you, or you, it's like you might have went to this restaurant every Friday, every Thursday type shit. Now you more so, you done tried you a new thing, you tried you a new restaurant, and it's like that shit brought you a certain type of feeling to the point where you willing to recommend motherfuckers to go there. Now it's like you done got so much invested in that restaurant though, you you unsure if that you it's like that, you feel me? If that's just that was just an example, but take that and run with it. One day you being honest with yourself about some shit. Next day you lying to yourself about some shit. But yet you still know how you feel about something. And how you feel about it, you know, you you would defend this to, or you would ride this idea, ride this shit, ride your partner to the wheels fall off. You feel me? Um, put your foot. If it's you versus someone outside of you, it's like it's it's almost like. If you're dealing with like friends and then back to the relationship example, if you're in a relationship, it's like your friends, it's almost like they're trying to convince you or trick you about some shit or they just want you to see a truth or just take upon their communication, their truth about your relationship. And since it's not being received and they see how much you in that, it's, it's almost like they're back and forth between fucking with you and not fucking with you no more. Yeah, because they can't play with you no more. If it's you versus someone, if it's you versus you, you in a position where you're not lying to yourself. You, you're, it's, you're accepting your emotions about something. What's on this? Money on the way. This is a song that's playing for you. Put your foot in the shoe that fits you though. Uh, Virgo, you, you reached a new point of abundance regarding your emotions about a situation. Now, when you think about investing here, when you think about doing that, when you, doing that, when you think about doing that or being there with him, with her, with them, whatever we talking about, when you think about it, it you it puts you in a position where you ready to ride. It's like you ride or die for that. You're not being, you're not lying to yourself about some shit no more. But it's almost like you still back and forth with it. Whatever we talking about, I'm on one. It's crazy. I said you were on one in your last one. Put your foot though. Mm, another sideways one. It's like you, 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 you see, but you don't want to see. You rather not know the truth, or you rather just not. You rather just observe. It's like you rather just be in the position you are in. Whether it's like a situation. Let's say you're not in a relationship, and you see. It's like you could have someone you're interested in and it's like when your friends may talk about that person when they when your homeboys talk about her when your homegirls talk about him when your family talk about him or her whatever we talk about yo my nose though like it's like you you take a you you defend that him her them whatever we talking about you defend it but it's like you're not in the position and you're not you're no longer lying to yourself about how you feel about it but you still, it's like you're still not going for it, though. Whatever it is. But it's like you're watching from a distance. Whatever we talking about. If it's you versus someone outside of you, someone outside of you could be watching you from a distance. But I'm leaning, leaning more towards you. Shit, it's like someone could be watching you from a distance... Cause this one, someone don't know if you. It's it's like how you present yourself. Someone could be in a position to is it, are you in something? Or are you out of something? It's like someone don't know if you in some shit or if you out of some shit. You feel me? Just, cause if it's because the seven of swords is like so. Is Virgo in this business direction? Is Virgo doing this? Can I present this business idea to Virgo so we can feel about this together and invest in this as partners? Or if it's in a sense where some someone outside of you, it's like they don't know if you're in a relationship or not. But it, it's like, but at the same time, they know how they feel about you. Or if it's you versus you, who oh, I said that for Gemini, it's some sneaky link type energy. 
Put your foot in the shoe that fits you though. And you got to shoot a little sneaky link. It don't got to be a person. It could just be a space you put yourself in. And you're not going to let nobody tell you. You're not going to let nobody say shit about that. Because of how much you feel about that. You feel me? Whatever that was, it puts you in the space to stop lying to yourself. About what whatever we talking about. You feel me? So if it's a friend, it's like, can't nobody tell you shit negative about that person. Or that idea. Or that direction you in. Because you know how you feel about it. Oh, see, now listen, though. See, the first, the third first card. It's always the third first card. And somebody might be trying to manipulate some shit there, Virgo. Or it's you. If it's not it's somebody outside of you dealing with you. In a sense where they can't. It's like, they know they can't lie to you. And they in a certain type of understanding or awareness about the space or the situation they share with you. And it's like, they may want to be in a position where they want to continue to share and feel with you. In some way, shape, or form. But it's almost like how you emotionally expressing yourself. I don't know. It's like you you, you giving mixed signals. If it's you. If it's you versus someone outside of you in the sense where it's like, yo, yo, back to your friends and your relationship. It's like your friends, they one day they fucking with you, one day they not fucking with you. They, they just know they can't lie to you, but that's not going to stop them from trying to manipulate you. It's like your single friends trying to get you single again because you've been in a relationship for quite some time. They don't like the fact that you feeling about this situation for as long as you've been feeling about that shit. You feel me? But they, it's almost like they know they can't trick you up out of it because of how, how hard you going for that. If you're not the, the magician in reverse. And the magician, you could be, I said this for all readings. You, whether you dealing with a Gemini or you got a Gemini somewhere in your chart. Or this is just regarding something you was participating in. You were communicating and expressing something to your reality because of a certain perception or perspective you had. Fast forward, now you... Someone might want to manipulate you because of how you feel about something. The fact that you, the, you're in this, it's like someone want to share a cup or share this emotion with you, but they don't. They don't want to do it in the sense where they they want you to offer them or you feel me. They don't. They they, they just want to take a piece of what you got. They they want to eat off your plate instead of you being in a position because you're in a position where you might be able to help motherfuckers get a plate. Make their own goddamn food. You feel me? So they had their own buffet going on. So they had their own restaurant running. But instead, it's like someone just want a piece of what you got. Or you want a piece of what somebody else got. And that's just because how you feel, how much you feel, how much emotions you have about that. That you just don't know how, it's like you don't know how to express yourself. <laughs> it's like the only way you know how to communicate is through a certain type of energy. Uh, this is the only way you know how to get it. It's through manipulation. Every I'll be missing you. I'm telling you. It's like you're watching something from a distance. Someone from a distance. If it's you in a situation where they, cause you, you don't know how to express yourself. Or it's back to your friends or your, your significant other. You might be in a new emotional stance and they miss it. When you used to feel about this topic or subject with them, you feel me? You don't feel, you don't laugh with them about this the same way you used to laugh with them about that. Matter of fact, now you're defending that what they you which that they used to laugh about. You now when your partner bring this up in a joking manner, you be like, hey, it ain't a joke no more type shit. You feel me? That's not funny. You don't find emotional satisfaction in that energy with your partner, so y'all can't share that. But that was like. From your partner's perspective, that was common ground. That was the biggest common ground y'all had. That was, but now that y'all don't have that, they missing that energy. And they may be trying to put themselves in a position where they can manipulate that energy back if it's not you. Put your phone in the shoe that fits you, though. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, someone. The Empress is the last card. Listen, I told you, you when I say you ride or die about this, whatever we talking about, you ride or die about this. If it's not someone outside of you who's the Empress, it's like if you dealing with a party external, you know you can't lie to this person, and, and you know how you feel about this person, these people. But it, But it's almost like that's... Pushing you to want to do it though. You know you can't, 
but you it's it's tempting you to do it it's tempting you to try to manipulate something because how much not only how much you feel about it but because you know you can't lie somewhere you feel me it's like you listen put your foot in the shoe that fits you verbal